What is that? Nice. guys the black 73 looks completely different with just those headlights and an uncracked grill um, honestly this thing just that looks so much better than uh, these three-piece weird looking headlights so both sides obviously we got that done it it's a good looking truck now obviously you guys knew 
that we were swapping interiors on these trucks. Um, we still got to come over here and uh, wire this harness in. We did that in that truck over here. Um, so everything here is good to go. Honestly, looks OE, looks original. I will say that I got a different mini belt sander trying to get those spot welds out. It was just super thick metal. It wasn't like, um, you know, rocker panels or anything or, or, or body, you know, body parts. That, that seat bracket metal was super thick. And um, we ended up coming in here to get the ones for the black truck. Uh, we got all the ones out of the black truck by drilling and grinding. But these, um, we would have been here all day yeah these spot welds in here it would just be a pain uh to get them out and get the bracket flat and all that so just doing this one saved us time and ended up giving us a more secure mount as you know this door doesn't open cables broken in there <laughs> just like every extended cab uh, ford but However, we got these seats mounted in perfect. They look OEM. They're mounted stronger than OEM. They're not going anywhere. And on top of that, we now have that XLT weird half bench seat mounted in a Lariat truck. Well, once a Lariat, still kind of a Lariat. It's got the functions and features of a Lariat. Uh, we were going to steal this headliner, but um, the harness that connects this um, you know, overhead console goes down this pillar connects here but the rest of the harness goes back up and all the way along the inside of the dash all the way probably over to the uh the uh the computer on this truck and let me tell you something uh i wasn't ripping the whole dash apart just to have mpg and temperature up there and all that so i wasn't going to do that it was a good thought we would have had dual visors and the whole nine too much involved in ripping it all apart just to plug that harness into that truck and maybe it just a 99 compared to this 2000 um it, it may not have even worked so that would just not even be worth it uh obviously we cut the straw burritas interior in here it looks it, it's obviously i'm glad i found two tan trucks because this matches perfectly it looks like it belongs it plays really well off that tan wheel you don't even know uh this looks really really good um carpet's all clean everything is clean door panels are in out of the pink truck as well um as you saw we swapped the uh the armrest that i don't know i think a dog or something chewed or whatever but we swapped those into the old door panels and we kept the good ones um for the lariat door panels going into the pink truck obviously you can see the lariat door panels got the uh it's got the little pocket down there as well with the carpet and this one somehow is just missing so we got that back uh, which is awesome but uh this conversion on this half of what we needed to do is now done and frankly guys that's about all i was gonna do to this truck i still have the uh, cab lights i took off of the straw burrita at the other shop um i may pick them up throw them on here get those all um you know swapped over uh just to kind of update the look of this truck and um make it just a good running truck and a good you know base fixer upper uh for somebody that wants to do a manifold and a trans line um like i said it, it, it's definitely nothing special it's a set i mean obviously it's a 7.3 motor strong uh trans is strong we've driven this um however it's just it's just rotted more than uh i really want to deal with this one everything is still here <laughs> this one not so much as you know as you could see um going from here looks like somebody did some bondo uh prior and you can even see the back of the cab is just like rusting and peeling and then um here um obviously you know why this fender flare is on we took the other one off it's not pretty uh literally just touched this up with black paint so it wasn't so in your face that was literally the reason why i bought this truck was to steal the interior and i'm glad we did you guys saw we got the uh boost tubes and all of that back in in here so this motor runs i'll fire it up for you in a second who we need to install the 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 bank's cold air intake i was going to do a crankcase vent and run it down and out but these motors are quite hazy and um sucking the haze into the turbo and kind of out the exhaust is not the best thing not how this motor was designed but how ford made it work in this truck i don't know what for but i think we're just going to actually reattach that um cold air intake 
to the crankcase and send it back through the turbo and do all that. That's how this truck's been running. And uh, I think we're gonna do that just because uh, I'll show you this. These motors are just always hazy and um, <laughs> letting that go just out. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about here, but let's fire this up for you guys. Showing you that it finally runs again. All I really need to do here is just bolt that cross member in, put the cold air intake on, and we can close this hood. warm-up valve and uh, all of this looks really good I want to find an OEM power stroke uh, like motor cover and uh, I might paint it uh, the Furious Fuchsia I don't know but uh, this looks good I'm glad she's running again and after that turbo and stuff's in the new inner uh, intercooler boost tubes She sounds good. She's honestly that throttle response. I'm not even driving it, and it feels a lot better. So, like I said, I'm not even driving this thing yet, and just that throttle response feels better. It's it just uh, honestly, I can just tell that this truck is breathing a lot better with those, uh, you know, with those boost tubes, that giant intercooler, and uh, that new wicked wheel on that turbo, huge wastegate. And then we've got that. Uh, elbow back there reducing even more back pressure and uh yeah so i'm glad we got this interior thing done because now i'm gonna seriously all i gotta do is come in here put this back on hood latch on uh get this inner uh intercooler mounted uh we can put the grill on the whole front end back together so i am quite thrilled for that i'm excited for that and uh i want to get that done here soon you'll probably see that in the next video i gotta finish polishing the exhaust the downpipe just needs a little touch up and uh, we can connect that run the rest of it interior swap wise on the pink truck um we've got all the brackets you could see these need to go on these are for the floor uh, i need to grind all these down get all the metal off of this make them flat grind those down you'll see uh, we got all the measurements these will mount right about here and those seats will go in we've got the back of the cab uh, mounts they go about right here so those will slide in we'll grind this down here um, so we'll get that uh, get that all bolted in here soon so in the next video we'll probably get uh, this stuff taken care of the engine bay closed and then honestly I don't know I kind of want to do a custom leather kit but I also really don't um, that those lariat seats make enough of a statement um, in this truck so uh, I may just leave them and source a tan wheel. Other than that, like I said, we're 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 we're, come, we're closing in on this. Like I said, she runs again. Motor's good. Motor's minty. Uh, cold air intake. Close that thing up. And uh, honestly, all I got to do after that is really polish the other side of that uh, that truck, wet sand, buff that, and we'll, we'll be good. We'll be good on that. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned something from what I just did here. Um, just saw an opportunity. Um, and I had to take it and then after that I'm gonna resell this truck and I pretty much ended up with a free lariat interior when on eBay that's kind of going for a lot of money um, so in this whole swap situation going on here uh, yeah so that's what I did I pretty much got a free lariat interior because I'm buying the truck I don't care if I make money on this truck it'd be nice if I did that I kind of cleaned it up a little bit you know these carpets were trash the just it was just a mess and it, and all of that I tinted the windows updated the headlights I'm gonna update the cab lights uh, just cleaned it up so if I make a little money sweet if I don't awesome because the value was in the interior the rest of the truck is just too much work especially when I just did this and I'm still working on this so I'm definitely not gonna go through the process on 
that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Uh, like I said, we're closing in on this. We're gonna, we're getting there soon. Um, Honestly, we are, we are so, so, so close. So I can't wait to get this thing done. So hope you guys are enjoying this series. Like I said, there's more to learn than just building a truck. You just saw what I did here. Um, and hope you learn from, learn something from that and, uh, you know, take it into your own hands when you, you, you know, you're, you're building a truck. What's well, a Chevy Dodge Ford? I will say that Ford's... A lot of people are like questioning why I got two of them, but the, yeah, they, it sucks. Fords, they suck. It's not fun putting those boost tubes in. Super difficult compared to a, a Cummins. Uh, everything is just super tight and over just a mess. I don't like Fords, but this truck is going to look good when it's done. So, okay guys, hope you learned something. Hope you're enjoying this. Uh, yeah, shoot this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.